Okay, guys, um, good to see you. Today is Matt Pilates. The cool thing about Matt Pilates is that you don't need any equipment. Um, just you and your mat, and if you don't have a mat, you can put a towel on the floor. Um, tailbone issues. I have a tailbone that's long and sticks out. Um, so you can use a rolled up towel or a thick mat to go underneath your tailbone. Um, and then have some weights, five pounds or less because we're holding the weights isometrically. Um, we're doing mat Pilates and there are five principles. The first one is your breath. So the forced exhalation is and if you put your hands on your belly, you can actually feel that. And this is a diaphragmatic exhale, and it's a lifting up. And that's where you're engaging your pelvic floor. So imagine that you're sipping up here with each exhale. The next principle is your shoulders and scapulae. You want to stay down as you do your movement. Next one is your rib cage isolation and engaging. So when you lift your arms up, your ribs will open. And then you take them down, your ribs closed. So the key is to try and keep your ribs closed when you lift your arms. The next one is your hips. Same thing. When you're laying down, guys, you like all when you're sitting here with the legs up and you take your legs away. About right here, your back, your lower back is going to curve more than your neutral. Then that's too much. So you can either go an imprint or you can go neutral. If you're not sure, the safest is to go imprint, where your lower back is touching the mat the entire time and your back is flat. If you want to go neutral, find the place you have a natural curve, but don't go any further than your abs are not engaged. Then the next one is your, your head and cervical neck. When you do your ab crunches, make sure it's not your head lifting, it's your abs. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. Just start with some stretching, take the legs in front. Lift the arms up, inhale, and exhale forward. Just point your toes, guys, and flex for the heels forward.
legs are too far away, and in your lower back, take your legs higher until you can feel it in the abdominals. Now are the ribs closed? Good. Now extend the arms. Keep the ribs closed. Circle the arms around and up. Inhale. Exhale, circle. One more. Inhale. Exhale, circle. Good. Come down, drop the knees and then run back to the side. Good. Take your legs bent. Taking the arms up. And then exhale, you press forward with the arms, circle the arms around, and come back. So we start with everything in the direction above you. So your knees are bent and arms are above you. And then we exhale, everything goes away. Legs and arms go away, and the arms continue to circle, and then come back. Exhale, everything goes away. Head, legs, and arms go forward, circle around, and back. Exhale. Inhale. Good. And then the method of exhaling when you lengthen is going to create those long muscles. Good. Exhale. We extend and engage. Oh, that's nice. Do more like that anytime you need to. Put your hands behind your head. Or take your legs higher so that you're protecting your back right here. Good. Pull the knees in, rock side to side. Good. Go ahead and come up. Just add a stretch, maybe just in case that got in your lower back. Okay. We're going into a very basic movement. This is the half rollback. So your feet are about hip width apart, guys. You want to make sure your toes stay connected to the ground. At any point when you roll back and your toes lift up, you've gone too far. And just take your hands anywhere. Start to lead with a string, pulling a, your belly button or your navel through the back into a crunch. Hold it here. Take your hands behind your head. Add an upper body crunch forward. Now you should have the lower part and the upper part engaged. Gently zip up and close the ribs. Coming up. Exhale, half roll back. Add the upper body in its knee shape. Come up. Good. Now, oh, I forgot to add, get a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Let me go get one, okay? Hopefully everybody has one at home. Mine's in a permanent squish position. So we're going to put this between our knees to engage the core. Very cool. So go ahead and take yourself back, lower back, hands here, upper back. Now squeeze your knees together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're going to have a rotation here. Half roll back, rotate to the side. Crunch, squeeze your knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, half roll back, rotate, crunch the upper body down, squeeze the knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No problem. Now add the weights. You have weights at home, or cans of soup, or bottles of water. Taking that roll of toilet paper here, picking up your weight. Start with our bicep curl. Your arms are about shoulder height. Shoulders are down, elbows a little bit bent. Half roll back, and then over to the side, rotating at the waist. Squeeze the knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Half roll back, rotate, and squeeze. Eight. Very cool. Come center. Other side. Go ahead and take the arms and come to a bicep curl. Hold it here. And then squeeze the knees three times. Three, two, one. Come center. Extend the arms. 
Rotate. Bicep curl, squeeze the knees. Three, two, one. Come forward, inhale. Other side, bicep curl, squeeze. Three, two, one. Good, keep doing that. One more of each side, slow and controlled. Making sure your abs are on, you're protecting your back. Very cool. Go ahead and take that out, and we're gonna go into more arm work. So taking your legs in front of you, take the toilet paper out, and taking the arms in front. Starting your bicep curl with palms up. Good. Go and do a half roll back and extend the arms. Hold it right here. Crunch your upper body a little more forward. Engage, lifting the pelvic floor. I that zipper. Good. Coming up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very cool. Two more like this. Don't go too far back. And just one more. Good. From here, we're going to change that and take your legs out. You want to have your legs, guys, about a little wider than your shoulders or as wide as your mat. A couple inches wider than your hips. And if you want, you can have your knees bent so you can still maintain the upright or extend the legs. Arms are in front, shoulders down, and feeling a lifting in the center. You're doing great. Go ahead, open to the side. Bicep curl. Open out, come center. That's all we're doing. Rotate, bicep curl. Open out, center. So the arms are starting out here. Open, bicep. Good. Two more like that. Keep the arms steady. Good. We're going to change that. So starting, and everyone's like, okay. <laughs> Take your arms down. Hopefully 
you fell back, take your legs to a diamond here. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms out, lift up, inhale. And exhale, round forward, tuck your hips in. Give a shoulder, good. And other side. Okay. From here, we're going to go ahead and come onto our hands. The fingertips are facing the same direction as the toes. And your hands are underneath the shoulders here. So you have the option just to stay right here and extend the leg. Or if you want, we're going to go into our plank, extending the feet and lifting up. So first option is to keep the knees bent and extend the leg. If we're here, we're going to lift the leg and lower. Okay? Otherwise, if you are in your extended plank, you do the same thing. Shoulders are down and close the ribs. So I'm feeling this. We're going to lift the leg. Point, flex, point, and down. Other leg. Point, flex, point, and down. Point. Flex, point, and down. Whew. Nice. One more on each side. Point, flex, point. Other one. Point. Good. Now let's combine everything. So if you were sitting down with your legs bent, we're going to do this together. So let's all sit down, whether you're sitting down or not. Come back into a tricep dip. So we're keeping your arms with the shoulders right above the, the wrist. So make sure your arms are not wide. We bend the elbows, pointing the elbows straight back. And coming up. Good. Exhale, elbows straight back. Coming up, inhale. Go ahead and come to a tricep dip here. Extend the leg, point, flex, point, and up. Go ahead and bend the elbows. Extend the other leg. Point. Flex. Point. Good. When you do the little dip with the elbows here, keep the ribs closed. Keep that zipping up in the low abdominals. Nice. How are we doing, guys? You got it. Exhale. Force exhalation, engaging the abs. One more of each side. Looking good. One more. Good. Coming up, we're going to go back into that position where your legs are a little wider than your hips. Or here, a little wider with your knees bent. Picking up your weight. We're taking the arms out. And in Pilates, it's ballet inspired. So when you do ballet, for example, the arms are kind of rounded and a little bit forward so that you can keep the core on. So if you take your arms too far back, your ribs open and you can't engage the core. So take your arms forward and a little bit bent. Okay? Your legs are out. Arms out. Palms are up. Rotate to one side. Go ahead and reach the opposite foot and then turn the palms down. That's working the triceps. Come center, turn the palms up. That's it. Rotate, reach, turn the palms down. Palms up, come center. Good. So the thing here, you're doing great. You want to make sure you're not swinging. I always joke about it and I call it taking a picture. You want to take a full pause, so if someone was to take a picture of you, it wouldn't be blurry. Good. Reach, turn the palms down, palms up, and center. So we're separating the movements, going slow. Turn the palms down. You're working the triceps. 
palms up, break the biceps. One more on each side, go at your own pace. Elbows are a little bit bent, shoulders down. You got it. Very cool, go ahead, release. Take your legs forward, lift the arms, guys. Enjoy the stretch. So just lay down uh, and take the legs one forward and one back. And then just use your hands to pull the leg in. Be careful the other leg doesn't go too far away because then you lose that abdominal crunch. Head comes up. You're welcome to have one hand behind the head as you switch your leg with support. And you're pulling in and lengthening. So we go two pulses with two exhales. Long towel, maybe fold it in half so it's about this length. We 
a hand towel or face towel is perfect. And just like we talked about before, shoulder blades down. Your arms are not like this. Instead, they're like this. Elbow a little bit bent, and you have the feeling of constant pulling out. You're not doing this. Instead, you're just holding the pull out feeling. Elbows over the bed, shoulders down. Kick your legs into a basic Pilates position. And then drop your knees to one side, and then tilt the other way. Come center, inhale. Exhale, I call this jet skiing. Inhale, jet ski, exhale. And then add the arms coming up. Good. Drop the knees to the other side, exhale. Good, inhale, lift up. Knees other side, exhale. You're pulling out, shoulders down, elbows with the bent. Good. Other side. Let's add a little bit of pulsing. Just pressing the arms out and down. Pulse. Three, two, one. You have that crunch going on there. Exhale. Three, two, one. We also have this half rollback feeling, but also leaning forward with that C shape with the upper body. Good. Okay, you can guys can totally keep doing this. If you want to be fancy, you can add your roll of toilet paper, put it between your knees. You can keep doing that, or if you want to lift the legs, go ahead and try that. So we're going to start with the arms up, drop to one side, press the knees, press the arms. Three, two, one. If that activates your lower back, then don't press the knees. Next option, we start with the legs up. And then twist and press. Three, two, one. Good. So you don't have to squeeze the knees. Just holding that roll of toilet paper there is enough. Good. One more of each side. Good core, guys. Good. Release. Legs forward, lift it up, let it go. Okay. From here, we're going to take that multiple paper. Go ahead and take it between the knees. Come down to your elbows. And go to a, a leg rock. So take your leg to the side. Exhale, pull in, reverse curl. Press the knees three times. Three, two, one. Other side. Inhale. Tuck in, exhale, squeeze together the knees three times. And exhale, three, two, one. Try to use your abdominals to pull you in, not your knees. Good. One more of each side. You got it, guys. Force exhalation. Good. Go ahead, release. Go ahead, take your legs to dive in, to round it out. Stretching is important to let everything go. Good. Go to one side. And the other side. Okay. This next one is going to be with your hips here and adding a lift tabletop. So if this is uncomfortable for you, just keep your feet down. Your choice. Standing here, we're gonna press down, half roll back, inhale. You wanna add your legs, gotta lift. And come back down. Exhale, lift. Good. Next, add the weights. Why not? Here we go. So your palms are facing down, ribs are closed. Exhale, lift the legs. If it engages your lower back, keep your legs down. Good. Next option here you have is to bend one leg and extend the other. Exhale. Other side. So you're on the floor. 
or in the leg bend, you're coming to here instead. That's totally fine. Good. Nice. Let's all come down to the floor. You have your legs coming up. Go ahead and join me here with your legs down and feet on the floor. Now we're going to add on to this. So just keep doing this for a couple more. Don't go too far back in your half roll back. Keep the abs on. Now hold it right here. You have one leg bent, one leg extended. If you're too far back, come a little closer up. Touch your back. We're going to add a pull. So all you do is pull the arms in. You're gently engaging the back a little bit, so you don't want to be completely rolled back because then you cannot engage the muscles here. Pull back. Good. Pulse. Three, two, one. Come up. Other side. Pull back. Three, two, one. Come up. Pull back. Three, two, one. Now when you pull back into this lat pull or row, make sure that your abdominals are on right here. And make sure that your ribs are closed. Whew. And what you're adding on is extending one leg and engaging the core so that you have a long muscle. One more on each side, guys. Good. Nice. Go ahead, release, take the legs forward, stretch it out. Ah. to that pull. This time we're starting with the legs extended or bent, as long as you can sit up. Take the arms in front, palms facing down. We're going to pull towards you, around circle, and reach forward. So we do a little roll, pulling back, like you're rowing a boat. Come around, reach forward. Exhale, roll back, inhale, around and forward. Exhale, and if the weights are too much, don't use weights. If you need to bend your knees, that's cool too. Exhale, this is where the abdominals are on. Inhale. Ooh. Exhale, zip up. Ooh. Inhale. Two more, move slow, keeping stable, controlling the muscles. Oh, I can feel that. Release the weights if you have them, let it go. Good. From here, we're going to go into the booty. Let's go ahead and come down. Ah. Come to our bridge. So the feet are flat. Bring your feet a little bit closer if you need to. And roll up one vertebrae time, guys. Palms down. So you have some space here. You can hold it here. A few little pulses. That's totally cool. Or we're going to go ahead and extend the leg. Good. When you extend that leg, we sometimes put it in our lower back. So take your hip bridge a little bit lower. And maybe put your hands on your hip bones to make sure they're parallel and make sure you still have a little bit of space here. We're going to lift that leg and point. Flex, point, and down. That's all we're doing. Here we go. Point, flex, point, and down. So doing this movement with the leg is a distraction because you have to keep that bridge up with the other leg and the gluteal muscle. Keep the shoulder blades wide. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more, guys. Keep that bridge up. Good. We're going to go ahead and lift that leg up. Bend in. Here, make 
make sure you keep the ribs closed. You're still lifted. Extend out and lower. Here we go. Exhale. Good. If you want to go even slower, which I recommend, with the breath you exhale, inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, down. So you're going to exhale every time the leg is pointed away from you right here. So it's an exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You got it, guys. Got the shoulders wide. Let's get two more. <laughs> Good. Take that leg up and just flex the foot gently and pulse. The little pulses here. Tiny pulses. Eight more pulses, you can do it. Go ahead and release. Draw the knees in. Now let's even us out. So you have one booty that feels good. Let's try the other side until your brain roll up. If you want, you can just stay here and pulse. Extend the other leg if you like. Hips come a little lower, ribs close, a little bit of space in your ear. Lift up, point, flex, point, and down. Exhale. Inhale. Be careful of your shoulders rounding forward. Be careful of letting your stomach relax. Use that exhale. Good. Starting to feel the other side activate. Two more, okay? Okay, we're gonna hold it up. Let's all go ahead and keep that little space here. Come a little lower on the bridge if you like to, but keep a little lifted. Go ahead and bend in, extend, and down, up. Ooh, bend in, extend, and down, up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you want to make it harder, which I know you do, I'm kidding, then go slower. And you want to imagine you're moving that leg in thick mud. Remember we said before, you want to pause each one enough so that you can take a picture and it won't be blurry. Pause gives your muscles a chance to struggle and hold the pose. Those are those Tony muscles. They're sister muscles. Let's do two more, guys. Keep it slow. Okay, we're going to flex that foot. Anywhere you are with the leg is perfect. Little pulses. Be careful of pushing too much and using your lower back. Make sure that your abdominals are on before you start pulsing. Make sure it's your gluteal muscle pushing you up and not your lower back. So it's so, so small. It's about half a quarter of an inch. Eight more, guys. Come on. Uh, take one ankle opposite thigh. Pull in. We did it, guys. <sighs> Such simple, small movements, but so much is going on. Targeting those muscles. Other side. Okay, laying down, we're going to go ahead and take the legs into a 
tabletop, hang out here. Go ahead, extend both legs and pull in. Good. Extend both legs, exhale, pull in. Go ahead, take the arms diagonal. Pull in and press down. You should feel that abdominal crunch there. Next, we're going to add the head lifting up. Exhale. Good. So if you want, please put your hands behind your head. Eight, seven, six, five, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. You got it. Go ahead and come up. We're going to go on our hands and our feet. You're going to curl the toes behind you and extend the arm and leg. Good. Go ahead and take your hand on your head here. We're going to take that extended leg, crunch, bend in, and crunch forward. And extend out. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Let's add that top arm. Go reach the arm above your head. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, extend out. Get that lengthening. And then exhale, crunch. One more. Good. Go ahead, release, and other side. You're doing great. By right now, you should be feeling this. Anytime you need to, take a break, okay? Or go slower. Go ahead and lay on your side. Ah, uh, this is the time part I like. Take that top leg, bend it over. Take your leg, little catty corner, diagonal in. Good. Go ahead and take your hand on your head and crunch forward. Inhale and exhale, crunch. You can keep doing this if you like, guys. Or we're going to go ahead and do one more crunch in. Hold it here. Now, feel the difference. Your upper body is on. Now engage the lower part of your abs, zipping up. And then lift that bottom leg with the abdominals and inner thigh. Good. Hold it here. And then circle that bottom leg around a small marble or inside of a thimble. So small. Make sure you're using your abdominals and inner thigh and not your foot. Good. And we circle the other way. So small. Go a little slower. Go smaller. Good. Go ahead, release. Take that top leg out. Hip on hip. Hands in front to support if you like. Lift the top leg. Lift the bottom leg to match. And down. So many people use their hips to lift. Don't do that, please. Tighten here. Lift the top leg. Now exhale and use your hook feeling with your abdominals to lift that bottom inner leg. And down. Inhale, top leg. Exhale, abdominals, inner thigh lifts the bottom leg. And down. Good. Make smaller lift. Don't go so high. Bring your legs a little more forward. Use your exhale, abdominals, inner thigh to lift the bottom leg. Good. Okay. From here. Good. Go ahead and come all the way down and relax. Ah. Okay. So, come a little closer if you like. Take the top hand, push off the bottom elbow to come up. You can even have your hand here support you if you like. And reach. We're sliding this hand down as you lean forward. Reach. Three, two, one. Come down. Come up. Reach. Exhale. Three, two, one. Keep your feet down. Just do the upper body only. Three. Get that crunch feeling. Let your mind recognize that. Now hold it here. Make sure that the, the odds are on. And lift the bottom legs using the abdominals. It's about a half of a quarter of an inch. Hold it here and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Upper body, lower abdominals, and reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more, guys. Upper body. Legs lift just a little bit using your abs. And eight. Reach. Wonderful. Go ahead and come up. And curl the 
toes behind you, coming out. Stand on your head and crunch in. We're going to go slow, moving through thick mud. Good. Looking good, guys. Okay, let's add that stretch. Extend the arm and exhale, crunch. Very cool, guys. You got it. Let's do two more.
in between the legs that extend, you bring your legs together, and then other side. Together, other side. Every time your legs come together, you lift your head. So right here, you lift your head, and back down. Legs together, lift your head, and back down. Good. Exhale. Inhale. I'll join you. So the key is when you extend and lengthen, you're engaging your abs and also you're using your inner thighs to come together. Feel them kind of zipper together there. Good. One more on each side, guys. Good. Now right here, keep the legs out. We're going to come in diamond with the bottoms of your feet together. Good. So right here, we do the same thing. You're doing great. You just extend the legs out and cut back to the feet flat in diamond. Every time your legs extend, you exhale, lift the head. Inhale, diamond. Exhale, extend, lift the head. Inhale, diamond. Good. Exhale, extend, lift the head. This is where you want to feel the inner thighs like magnets are bringing the inner thighs together. Or you're zipping the inner thighs together. Next option, we're going to go ahead and extend and lift the head. Hold it here. Switch elbows. Switch, 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 switch and down. Here we go. Exhale, extend. Here we go. Four switches. Three, two, one, and down. Oof. Exhale, extend. Four, three, two, one, and down. You got it. Woo. Let's do two more. Slow and control, guys. Legs come up. Exhale. 
surprise. We have earned these stretches, guys. Thank you guys so much. 